Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sean and this is my sheepdog, Storm. So today we're going to be working with my little herd of Hebridean sheep and we're going to be tagging some of the lambs born this year. And remember guys, if you do like this video, please hit that like button and leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. All that stuff helps push the channel in the algorithm. And if you want to see more content about sheepdogs, farming, or just rural life in Scotland in general, remember to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, let's get into this video. So today we're here to tag the two young lambs that are uh, running with this herd and a lot of people have questions about tagging. Why do we tag? Is it cruel to tag? Well, we'll answer those questions once we get the lambs in. Away. Steady, steady. Walk on, Storm. Walk on. Way. Walk on. So, guys, we're just bringing the sheep up to the pen. We're going to bring them all up. We're not going to separate the two lambs out and make them... Uh, that would stress them out unnecessarily. So, we're just going to bring the whole herd in. Walk on, Storm. Walk on, walk on, walk on. And these little Hebridean sheep, they always like to cause a bit of a problem and be a little bit wild. Walk on, Storm. Walk on. Come by. Lie down. Wee. Wee. Come by. Ah, lie down. Good girl. Come by. So they know the pen means they're going to get handled, so they always like to protest a little bit. Walk on, walk on. Good girl, come by. Walk on, walk on. Come on, girlies. Hop. Walk on. Storm. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Hop, hop, hop. Come on, girls, into the pen. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Okay, guys, so we have the sheep in the pen. So let's talk a bit about tagging and why we do it. So the first big reason that we tag sheep is because it's the law. So by UK law, all livestock, whether that be cattle, sheep, or other types of livestock, must have two ear tags, one in each ear. So by law in the UK, sheep have to have two ear tags and sheep have to be tagged and registered with the Ministry of Agriculture before they're nine months old. With cattle, it's much younger. It's about 30 days, even though we tag and register our cattle generally in the first week that they're born. Why is all this done? Well, it's all about traceability. So there will be two numbers on each tag and the first number will have UK in front of it and it is what is known as a herd or a flock number. So this directly goes back to the farm. So every animal in this farm will have the same flock number and that traces them back to this farm and then the second six digit number on the tag is each individual animal's number so it's all about traceability being able to trace it back to the farm if sheep get lost or stolen then they can identify whose sheep they belong to and they can be returned if uh, animals are not being kept in the right conditions or being kept in poor conditions then you can use that number to report that back and say somebody has to have a look into the animals on this farm so that's what it's all about and like I say each animal has to have two tags and they have to be clearly visible okay guys so I have two lambs in this group and they're both about eight months old so it's time to get them tagged and registered and the reason we do this in the winter time here in Scotland is because when we tag in summer it can attract flies and flies can cause the ear to fester uh, and we don't want that 
So winter is the best time for tagging these and it's why we're allowed to uh, let sheep grow throughout the summer season and get to winter before we tag them. So guys, I have my tags here. So I've got two sets of tags for the two lambs. So the first time thing I'm going to do is I'm going to note these numbers down and note which uh, lamb that I'm giving each number to. So guys, here are the tagging pliers. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our tag into here. We're going to catch that first lamb, which is the little female lamb there, is what I want to give this one to. tell these little wild sheep are a little bit wild you guys can't see what's going on because all the sheep are standing in front of me come on all right you just tell them so guys what i'm doing i want to go inside the ear i want to find a point uh, close into the head in the cartilage and away from any of the blood vessels or nerves that might be in there and that's that one done. So the sheep don't like it uh, being done, but it's no more painful than uh, having your ears pierced. So we'll get our second tag here. And again, same thing in the other ear. And that's that lamb done. Time for the second lamb here, guys. This one is a little weather lamb, which means he's a castrated male. Uh, and we're just doing the same thing. Oh, we've had a malfunction. Oh, he's a strong wee fella. So on, lie down. And so guys, you also, you'll see there's a sort of, the pointy end and then this big end has a sort of button on it. You want the button on the inside of the ear because it can get caught up on fences and things. Uh, so you want that on the inside of the ear as close in to the head as you can. And that's him done. Guys, one last thing I want to do is I'm going to go through all the ears and check that they've all got the correct ear tags. If they have an ear tag missing or broken, it has to be replaced. And it has to be replaced with a different number. So we would cut that out and then we would put in a, a replacement tag and then inform the correct authorities that they've been given a replacement tag. And these actually uh, look all good. So that's it guys, that was the tagging. You can see there's nothing too severe or cruel about it. Uh, the reason it's done is pretty much the same reason that you get a dog microchipped. Um, it's so you can trace it back to who it either belongs to or you can trace it uh, back to which farm it belongs to. Uh, and as I say, it is law here in the UK. If you did not tag your sheep, you could expect some big fines and uh, potentially things could go further than that if you didn't comply after that. But you can see guys, all these sheep have tags now. You can see that's one of the lambs we just put them in. There's the other lambs trying to hide from me. Anyway guys, we can let these sheep out now. Lie down. Here, come on, that'll do, that'll do. Lie down. Lie down. Hey, storm, leave them. Lie down. Tommy, that'll loop. Hit. Good girl, that'll loop. Good girl. Right, Storm. Leave them now. Come on. Come on. And there you go, guys. So that is the lambs tagged and back out. And as you've seen there, it's not a super painful process. There's no blading. It's much the same as getting your ears pierced. We are careful that we're always tagging in the cartilage and not where there's blood vessels and nerves so now in the next couple of days those lambs will be registered and 
uh, that's pretty much it. But that's why we do it. It is law here in the UK. We're not just doing it for fun, because uh, what would the point be? It's just extra work. But right now, guys, I'm going to have to quickly sweep into these cows, get them all fed up, and head out and get Stacy from her work, because I'm running slightly late, and I don't want to be too late going to pick her up. So thank you very much for watching, and that'll do for today's video, guys.